top three bitcoin reversal patterns welcome back guys it's crypto rocko from rockstar trading channel in this video guys i'll share with you three indicators and price action patterns that will help you find bitcoin tops and bottoms the first indicator that i'll share with you is a very simple indicator that will help you you know whether to buy bitcoin or sell bitcoin it will tell you whether to look for buys or sells long term the second one is a mixture of an indicator and price action and the final one is a bit more advanced where we look at volume and price action to help Help tell us where the Bitcoin top and bottom might be coming in. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, this is just three simple indicators and you'll find every Bitcoin top and bottom. But these indicators will be, you know, very helpful to you to not FOMO in. You know, if you FOMO in back in 2017, you know, at the highs or, you know, FOMO in at 60, 70K, these indicators will help you, you know, not FOMO in or, you know, or like sell on a big dump where you should be looking to buy. So, you know, write this down. Make sure you watch the video till the end. They're not going to help you predict the exact price, bottom or not. But, you know, what we want to do is, trade chunk of these moves and using these very simple three techniques you'll catch most of the moves and especially you know not get liquidated if you've been following our channel the first thing i said this year is help you guys be on the right side of the market if you've been watching some of our calls you know once bitcoin you know faked out here and started dumping we sold and you know bitcoin's been dumping a lot you know this Bitcoin 20k top, I didn't predict it right, but that was an amazing call. If you've been watching our channel, I bought Bitcoin around 4 or 5k and people started saying, oh Rocco, you're wrong because it went 20% against me. But then this was literally one of the you know, generational bottoms in Bitcoin. So I've got some calls right, I've got some calls wrong. But overall, if you use these strategies, you will be on the right side of the market. And like I said, grow your account slowly. Don't get, you know, 50%, 70% drawdowns. And then, you know, be aggressive when there is a crazy market like in 2017, like we saw here. That is when you make life changing worth of money. If you've been following the Rocks to Trading Group, we talk about risk management and psychology, the most important thing. And using these three indicators will also help you with risk management and psychology. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. The first one is very simple. It's RSI. And, you know, everyone hears about RSI, you know, buy when it's dump and sell when it's up. But, you know, it is very simple, but it will help you be on the right side of the market. So, uh, but the, the way I use RSI to find bottoms and uh, the way I use RSI to find tops are slightly different. So I'll go through all of them. So hopefully it will help you so this is the logarithmic chart and i'll go on auto so let's come back here so uh, we're going to look for when rsi is oversold so that's below 30 so let's draw a line here I'll, what we'll do is and, and hopefully you know what rsi is there's a video on rsi mastery on my channel you can watch it it's basically an oscillator momentum indicator it's you know you can study about it but the more important thing in this video that i'll cover is how i apply rsi there's no point knowing about the definition you want to know how to apply and actually make money from it so this is one time when RSI was oversold and I'll pick all the examples. I won't just cherry pick examples. If you, you know, take the, this into some influences, they'll just talk about, yes, RSI worked here. I'll go through all the examples and uh, we will work through each of them, see which ones worked and which ones did not work. So we're looking for RSI when it's oversold and, you know, you can indicate it there or there. You know, there's two times I could actually draw two lines, there, but I'll just draw one uh, on that one. This one didn't quite get there, so I won't, I won't draw a line here. This, this slightly missed, so I won't draw a line there. And these were the only four times when we saw RSI at that low. Uh, this one, it just missed it, I believe. This was 33. This didn't, you know, come in uh, come into that level. But we'll talk about the three indicators. So uh, one strategy that you can use very simply is when Bitcoin is oversold on, on the weekly time frame on 14 period RSI, I use a 14 period RSI. If you watch the RSI Mastery, you, you'll find out more about it. You know, I talk about the application. If you want to know a lot more detail on what is RSI, the calculation behind it, I'll leave the links below for you to check out our courses. Uh, on the on the youtube channel guys i share with you which coins we're looking to buy and sell where we're looking to buy in the rockstar trading group guys you get access to a telegram group you can see my trades uh, i'd live stream three to four times a week and all that good stuff so if you are interested i'll leave the links below for you to check out so the first example when rsi was extremely oversold here it was around this point this was like the bottom and the rsi pumped about almost thirty thousand percent again we're not going to see this is when you know even i didn't know about bitcoin even here, I didn't know about Bitcoin then. So this is an example. Again, RSI got oversold and you could have looked to have bought. If you have bought it here, this wasn't the Bitcoin bottom and you would have taken a big loser. So you, know, you could have lost 20%, 25%. But then if you had bought it here, you'd gain like a massive gain. The next time when it comes here again, if you buy this here. Again, that is the Bitcoin bottom before the crazy rally we saw up to 20, uh, 20k. 
then let's come back to here this is when i got in i actually started get, getting in early around 4k i started getting in and it dumped a lot lower than my my entry point and that's when people started calling me a scammer saying rocco you don't know what you're doing you've bought bitcoin at the top is going to zero but that entry was you know one of the best entries of my life and you know i've made more money in that trade than you know trying to trade it here because i didn't really catch the top very well so uh, this is what happened you can see rsi became extremely oversold and you could even draw a line here and say you know you would have got it wrong rocco because it was oversold here you can argue that position and there's these are not just set rules i'm just giving you guidelines and using these guidelines this information we have to make informed decisions you know if you watch my pre-recent video i sold bitcoin when we had a fake out and you can find that um, around here and that was a really nice sell in bitcoin we'll have to go into this chart when we faked out here we were buying bitcoin as you guys know once we broke below we said look i'm gonna get out and you know dumped about 12% and some of the altcoins dumped even more so we have to make an educated guess but these indicators that I'm sharing with you will really help you if you understand it and apply it so uh, th this one would have worked and then now we don't know where we are because we've not really come in uh, to the extremely oversold RSI and this one didn't quite reach so but I, I actually bought Bitcoin here if you guys know this was a crazy dump and the last indicator I talk about will help you catch these type of parabolic you know volume climax uh, spikes that we see in Bitcoin so out of you know the five times uh, Bitcoin has been oversold if you include these two or four times Bitcoin would have worked and this one I probably would have been stopped and I wasn't trading then this one although it spiked before I would not have been stopped out I traded this live if you watch go back watch my YouTube video videos out of five times bitcoin's been oversold four of these worked so that is a very simple thing you can use if rsi gets below 30 buy some bitcoin if you've been waiting to buy long-term bitcoin hot or position you know don't fomo in let's say there's some bad news you know there's you know china bans bitcoin again or there's some you know fud around bitcoin if Bitcoin gets over below 30, just buy some because you know long term, if you believe in cryptocurrency, that will be a great buy. So the first one is a very, very simple technique that you can start applying, which is buying Bitcoin when it's extremely oversold. So that's the first one. Um, and then the first, this is the first part, but the second part of the indicator is finding tops. And I find finding tops a lot, lot harder. And um, what I would uh, share with you guys is looking for RSI divergence. And and what we look for RSI divergence is something like this. Uh, so RSI divergence is when price makes a higher high, but the indicator makes a lower high. So an example here is price makes a higher high, indicator makes a lower high. That is an example of RSI divergence. And, and that is how tops are found. And I've not really seen very good examples of this. And there are examples of this in the bottoms, but I find you know, RSI below 30 is an amazing indicator. But finding tops using RSI this way is an amazing uh, strategy you can use. And I'll, I'll go through some of the examples now. So, I mean, I'm, I've cherry picked this one. This one worked. So if you had, uh, let me just go back to weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, guys, if you had used RSI divergence, that was a, a top. Here, this, these ones are very sneaky. Look, that made a high high. That made a high high here again. This one, I mean, this one is very sneaky. We'll have to zoom in. And this one, if you look at it very closely, this one made a higher high as well. So we've not really had a clean RSI divergence around 20K. And, and like I said, 20K, I didn't catch that top very well. Um, I held, I, I, I didn't sell as much and it dumped and I didn't look, I didn't get to sell the top. I started breaking down when it's broken below here. That's when I started exiting. But I didn't trade that very well. And this top has been a very choppy price action. So using RSI divergence wouldn't have helped us around there. And you just have to skip past it. It sometimes indicates, well, if, if this indicator worked nonstop, I'd be the richest man in the world because I'd go all in and sell all my Bitcoin here we didn't really make a higher high here so this wasn't a a top as you can see it didn't make a higher high so this wasn't an rsi divergence divergence indicator but it really helped us here guys look at this and we, you've seen me sell once bitcoin got below 54 i think if you go back and study the chart you'll have to go back onto this chart this might look really confusing just re-watch the video slow it down for us now go on to the daily time frame and this is all proof of all the trades we've taken so you can go back and study it's one we broke once we broke back below here so for 58 was my 
when I said, look, there's potential price and, you know, indicator will give you indication that indicator is basically what it says on the tin. It gives you indication of a potential top or bottom. We want to see price action to confirm us. And for us, the Rockstar Trading Group, we started being bearish from once it started breaking below 59K. So that was um, RSI divergence and RSI. Uh, let's talk about the next one. So just to review the first section before I go on to the next one, I'll start typing it up again for you. Let me get that up. So top three Bitcoin reversal patterns. So first one is RSI oversold slash RSI That's divergence. So hopefully that will help. And like I said, I'll, I'll I do this live on the on the Rockstar Trading Group and on the YouTube channel, so we'll be able to see how it works. I can't spell today, can't I? Okay, so second one is another very simple is moving average. And the moving average, I'm, I'm, I'm solely focusing on very high time frame because people don't really, people, newbies, they look at the hourly time frame, see a big dump, they sell, and then see a big pump, they try and buy, and then they get just chopped around. And the only thing that changes is their emotions. They physically and mentally get slaughtered. And also what happens is their bank account, their trading accounts by being stopped out. That's something that we really don't want to do. So focusing on the higher time frame will give you the context. And if you watch our channel, the first thing we do, we're doing another live stream in a couple of hours time. We, we do a live stream Sunday evening, uh, a free one on YouTube. And we the first thing we do is look at a high time frame chart. What is Bitcoin trying to do on the high time frame? And I'll share with you my Bitcoin price prediction, which which I think is very likely Bitcoin just chops around here. It's really important to look at the high time frame. And if you've been watching this video, the, the only thing I've been talking about is high time frame, the RSI divergence and the weekly and, and the higher time frames. So uh, let's talk about on the weekly time frame for moving average. And let's go back in. It's not this chart. This is the chart that's got the most chart history. Yeah, there we go. So let's see what happens. Usually, guys, another massive, massive indicator is a weekly close below the moving average. So once we see these weekly closes below moving average, we can know whether it's a bullish or bearish. So this is if, you know, after it had a big rally, this had a big close below the weekly moving average. So let's draw a line there. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll go through the charts and see when we get a weekly close below uh, in 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 RSI and in, in in a weekly candle basis let me know if i've missed anything but we can you can study this as your, yourself and do this yourself this one i don't know whether to count i want to count when we've rallied up but so this one i i wouldn't count at this weekly close as much but just for the the lesson that we're trying to do we're just trying to find eyeballing it and we'll pick almost everyone these ones I won't count. I'd count that one because that is a big close. After a rally, this is what I want to see. After a huge rally, a sell-off. That's what we want to see. And then look at that. We've not really rallied above the weekly moving average. This one was a huge, huge indicator. And this is when I aggressively started longing. I was, you know, for trading-wise, I missed this breakout. I was sleeping. I got in. There was a Binance um, hack. And this is where I got in, if you guys remember. We'll draw one here. And I wouldn't draw one here because this this is in this chop. We've already got an indicator. I could you know you could be drawing it on every once, but I'm, we're helping to find you know when a potential you know top is in and we're in a bear market. First one is there. There we go. So we'll go back and study them. So this one we had a close, and then after that. Even though we didn't dump, we were going sideways for almost like three months, 100, 120 days. So this one, I'd say, didn't work. We closed here, and this one definitely didn't work because we started pumping up. And when you see a one weekly close and then the next candle is a big green candle and goes above, that doesn't work. But again, that is more of an extreme price action uh, pattern that you need to learn. But for this one, I'd say this hasn't worked. So how many has worked or hasn't worked? So let's say, um, let's go back. How can we capture that? Let me just write it down. My right, piece of paper. So two loss, I'd say. And then we'll see how many wins. So these two are lost. I would say this is a win. And after this close, we've not really broken out and broken a new high. This has just been dumping. And we dumped going sideways. I mean, we didn't see a top in, in Bitcoin since that weekly close until after 
a thousand days. So you could argue this worked, you could argue this worked, you could argue this worked. So three wins, I'd say, from all of that, if you, you use that indicator to trade. These are very, very simple indicators, guys. And and, and we'll see how my, my price action patterns worked. And this one was amazing. Once we had that close, and wish I started being more bearish here because I, I wanted to see Bitcoin break out above here. And I, I held some Bitcoin. And this is why I didn't make as much money in 2020. And I didn't have as much capital. I had a full-time job back then. This is when I, you know, when I actually made money and sold. And this is when I, you know, I said I'll sell Bitcoin and buy houses around here, which was you know, amazing for me. So this one was an amazing indicator and I, I, I mean, I would want to give it a bigger win. So we've had two losses and four wins uh, for now. And we could talk about these these wins as well, because look at that. It tried to close and then close back above. I mean, this was a really bearish indicator and I actually took a short run there. And we can talk about winners as well. So we're looking at tops for now. If you see a big red, green candle, red candle close, you, you can say it's a five win because this is a huge, huge sell off after that. And this one as well, you could count this one. The reason why I count it, it, it I didn't want to count it initially, is because we're still in a sideways chop. But, you know, we've rallied, we've gone sideways, and I, I'd, I'd want to see that as a winner because, you know, for me, I shorted here. I didn't catch this short, and um, I was still long Bitcoin, and this China pump, if you remember my Amsterdam story selling, uh, I tweeted about it when I sold when we had the China pump. This one you've got to count. So, you know, you've had six wins. And then this one. This one, I would say this one is a loser because we did make a new high. So if you tried to short it, it made a new high. But you know, this is when you start getting concerned and this there, there's a massive RSI divergence as well. So you shouldn't really get too excited when we see that big move up. And even if you got excited, once we get this red candle close, you should be start getting cautious. Same as this red indicator that we are seeing at the moment. So unless we can start breaking back above 47, 48K, that is why I'm bearish and I, you know, shared that sell signal and being cautious in the Rockstar Trading Group, especially, you know, once we broke that, I've, been, I've just been really cautious and you, you want to be, you know, like I said, this channel, I want to keep you guys on the right side of the market. They're all coin trades we're taking, you know, I shared a coin reef that's pumped almost 2x, you know, I shared live trade on reef and it's still looking great, you know, still trying to pump, which is amazing, but you've got to be really, really cautious and don't want to be aggressively long something. So a uh, moving average and I'll put can weekly candle close so that can help you plus weekly so candle close candle close weekly hopefully that makes sense we can uh, go around it at the end so that's the second one and the third one this is a bit more advanced and it's hard to explain it as well i've, I've got some notes hopefully it will uh, it, I'll, I'll be able to explain it but what i like to call is a volume climax spike So this is really going to, this is more advanced and, you know, my trading strategy, you know, there's lots of people just selling you indicators. Yeah, buy this indicator, it will make money. I don't think any indicators make you money. It's about understanding the context, what's happening in the market and the price action, it comes down to demand and supply. What I try to teach is understanding whether demand is higher or supply is higher. And if the demand's higher, we look to buy. If you look at Luna, there's a huge sell off in supply and there's demand with UST going up. And that's when we started aggressively buying Luna. And it's been one of our best trades since last year, getting in at $5. The price is almost $100 now. And that's what it comes down to. And this volume climax, if you're completely new to candlestick and chart patterns, you might struggle to understand it. You know, watch our YouTube videos, take like a structured course for, from us if you're interested. But this is really important to, you know, understand how we look at volume climax. So uh, if you look at volume climax, <laughs> price section here was quite bad. But, you know, I wouldn't call this, would you call it a volume climax if you come back here? This is it. This is indeed a spike, but I don't know if if it will qualify as an A grade volume climax. Volume climax, you want it obvious. So this is a volume climax. Look at that. We've not seen this type of spike in Bitcoin since whenever you know. Go back, look on the left. There's not been a spike like that. So we'll, we'll draw it a again. We'll draw the same line. We'll come back and review these. This is another one, and you'll see these being like reversal areas. You're probably already getting the, the point I'm trying to make. And this gets difficult and difficult. We've not seen this in this this year's move. This year's move, RSI divergence helped us out. This is a volume climax as well, because if you go back, it's a lot spikier. So I'll draw one here as well. And the thing is, I could literally do this whilst not looking at the price. And you can do this exercise as well. 
used by there. But then obviously you need to include the price in it as well. And we've not really seen anything like a volume spike. And and once at the end of this, um, the third indicator explanation, you'll see I'll give you my Bitcoin price prediction as well. And we'll see if, if I'm correct when we review this. In, or if you're watching in, in a few months time, hopefully this video does well. You can see if my prediction came correct or not. So here you can see a huge spike in Bitcoin. And after that spike, we went into a chop or sideways or down. We dumped about, you know, 50 you know, 50% since then. And more importantly, we've just been going sideways. And you could literally call this the top because these two spikes was the Bitcoin top. And we didn't break out into new all-time highs for at least, you know, another almost how many days is that? 200, 200 days, almost over a year. We didn't make a new high. So you can see huge spike in price action. If you go into the daily, it would be more clear. Maybe I'll, I'll look at how long have we been going. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll have a look at a couple of daily newer examples. We come into here and some of these are due without looking at the chart um this one again huge sell-off spike and this the reason why this happens is liquidation so people get excited people get scared once they see the price dumping they sell more so oh, it's going down it's going down and and the lesson that i'll teach is that you know you, you're not going to be able to buy the bottom and in the shorter time frame you can use our strategies we use a trend following strategy to buy in and out once we see this we'll be on the bullish alert look to buy or sell but when you see this type of pattern that you've got to be on alert and what what i don't want you to do if you learn one thing one thing from this video is not to FOMO. and if you just learn that one thing have plans and you know don't FOMO sell at the bottom and you know don't FOMO in when the price is pumping i'd say that you know i've done a good job in this video and guys if you're enjoying this do hit that like button it really helps us out and i'll try to share more and more content like this so again this was literally Bitcoin top, we had a huge sell off after that. And you know, these ones as well, if you go back, these, these ones are very high spiky volumes as well. But this one stood out to me here. And and the reason why I said it doesn't mean top or bottom is where is the price? So here looks like it's been a downtrend, downtrend. Then we get that spike. And that is the Bitcoin bottom before we rally up into new highs. So it depends on where we see this candle. And if you see that candle, the 6K candle, you know, this was another one and again I, I didn't see the huge spike just sticking out to me without it but if you look at this we've been in a downtrend downtrend we get that spike you know people that are bearish have already sold this is when if the last bears are stopped and that's when the whales start pushing the price up and this is why this pattern works really really well and if you like uh, if you study it here this was a you know dump and i'd say this hasn't worked out this hasn't worked. So and if you say all these worked, this one, I wouldn't know how to trade it. So I'd have to, you know, if I said, you know, last one, we had like two losses and five winners. I'll say this is a loser because you could say this is a top because it's coming to this resistance, spiked up. You'd expect to move down. It has dumped, but it's not really a top or bottom. So I don't know if I, if I should call it a winner or a loser. Let me just call it um, like a meh, like a one that hasn't worked very well. So not a big winner, not a big loser. I'll just call it a meh. So this one you can see the big volume spike so this is the one spike and obviously we've had two volume spikes and that spike was the Bitcoin top and once we saw this you knew that you know there's a huge sell off coming you know all, all this rally that we just keep pumping pumping is probably gone now and then Bitcoin has potentially topped out and after that we did have a rally. But then you can see it's just been dumped, dumped and dumped. So this could be like the Bitcoin top signal for you and then since then Bitcoin dumped about 69%. And this is the one where we had a huge sell-off after 6K. And this is when I started buying around 4K. And this is, you know, I've done this live. You know, people called me a scammer saying I don't know anything. And um, again, I was still new back then, in, especially into crypto. I started early 2017. It was almost well, over two years, almost two years in. And I called it, look, I'm buying Bitcoin. You know, it's sold off. Most people that are going to sell, the supply is going to reduce now. Not many people, that, unless you're massively into crypto, like myself, a crypto nerd. A lot of the newbies that were buying here, they probably gave up on crypto, calling Bitcoin a scam. It's down about you know, 80% from the top. And this was literally near the bottom. We consolidated and we broke out. This is another very good example. And I, I actually went live. If you go back to that date and watch a YouTube live stream, I called it a volume climax. And, you know, it's a lot easy for me to just call this now saying, oh, this is what's happened in the future. I'm a crypto trading genius. It doesn't work like that, guys. I'll get things wrong and I'll share with you my prediction using everything that I'm teaching you where I see Bitcoin going. But that one I did go live and I shared, right, this could this looks like a volume climax. And where I said this one would not have worked because I would have said, look, this looks, it looks like a volume climax. We'll probably dump. On here, I did say that and we had a huge sell-off. And as you guys know, this one I bought this tip and I said, I'm buying Bitcoin. 
if it goes to 20k i'll sell and buy a house and then again i wish i hadn't bought a house because if i had held crypto i probably would have been able to buy three houses but that was my plan and i, I stick to my plan as usual so that's great rocco you've made money and hopefully enough shared with you some techniques that you can use yourself but what now now guys we're in a chop so high time frame uh it's just going sideways the question is is it going to be a you know bitcoin potential bottom or top in so we've had a weekly uh, candle close below that's a bearish signal one we've had rsi divergence it's a bearish signal two so at the moment i'm leaning bearish towards 30k and same as that, you know, you would have been bearish here for 6k. I'm bearish here around this red zone where I'll be looking to buy. After that, what happens, I don't know. It will really depend on what happens. If we bounce from here, start trend changing. And I've not got into trend changing. These are really high time frame price action patterns. If we see something like this, we could start closing above the daily MA. You know, we don't see big spikes down or nothing like that. I would look to start buying the breakout above there. That will negate the bearish signals we're seeing. And what would be the potential bottom signal? A bottom signal could be if we see a big breakdown, RSI gets oversold, we have a volume climax, like a spike in volume, and then a big buyback. That will potentially signal the bottom. If we see that, I'm going to be a big buyer or I'll wait to buy above there. If not, I think we just chop around and potentially break down. And that is my plan and i could you know write this down and i'll record this obviously this is going to be on youtube i'll come back to it if i'm wrong i'll put my hands up you know you've seen me cause that's been wrong ethereum i took a long trade uh in the rocks trading group you know i shared my reef trade that doubled in price i bought ethereum here once we spiked above rsi divergence i closed and it's been dumping so that trade didn't work out so i'll review this again and you know there's hundreds of channels that will tell you everything to the moon and this is going up that's going up here they're making millions they're basically not traders they're trying to just you know be influencers in the market i want to show you how trading works and you know, taking the risk thinking about risk management and psychology you can buy my strategy you can buy anyone else's strategy but unless you know psychology risk management you're never going to make money in these crypto markets so that's the video guys let me know what you guys think and uh, the the plan for the channel going forward is i'll release these tutorials uh, once or twice a month like i did this video i share with you my bitcoin trading strategy uh, very simple go watch that i'll break it down from high time frame and this one i'm sharing with you, you know, three massive indicators and price action patterns you can use and i'll release another one let me know what you guys think and you know if you have any suggestions for videos let me know in the comment section below if you have enjoyed it guys do hit that like button it really helps us out if you are interested in the rockstar trading group i'll leave the links below there's a special offer trial you can try us for less than 40 bucks you know see if the group is for you or not i live stream three to four times a week you get access to my trading strategy you see me doing these live live stream three to four times you get access to my strategy telegram group there's some amazing people in that group as well you can learn from so if you are interested i'll leave the links below if not guys i really appreciate you watching if you've listened to me for almost half an hour hopefully this has been helpful and you can apply some of these and you know help you on your crypto journey and like i always say protect your wealth and when we do get those parabolic runs hopefully my information this youtube channel the rocks the trading group can help you achieve your financial freedom through cryptocurrency i've achieved it i really want to help you if i can help one or two people achieve theirs some people you know messaged me saying they went to thailand you know using some of the trade calls that i've made on youtube it really helped you know made me feel amazing i really want to help some of you guys as well that would probably be one of the you know the happiest things that you can do in cryptocurrency and in just in general life being able to help people achieve their dreams so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much